You are the great creator. Your work is magnificent. And this is half of the serving of green beans and yellow beans that Jane Dean brought me from their garden. Very tasty. And you want to know something, folks? Dot com ate two green beans with nothing on them. And Daisy Dog, Daisy Dean Dog, she eats string beans voraciously. And these lovely red creations also came from Jane Dean's garden with the soil on them. I like that. I like that. To honor the soil, how the soul is like the soil. It produces the most glorious fruit, the color, the shape, the design, the flavor. Manure. Peanut butter sandwiches for the animals. I don't know who they are anymore. But the food's gone in the morning. That's all I have to know. Somebody's hungry. And we're helping. September 21st. This is the fall moon. Don't you love it? Hmm. Spring comes late this year. I mean, fall comes late. Uh, not until the 23rd at 5.15 a.m. This is the 21st Friday. I was five hours setting the record straight on Eric W. Press, White Plains City Court. He put out three pages, four pages. That is absurd, ridiculously incongruous, totally irrational, unreasonable, totally foolish. But we had to spend the day, or five hours of it, setting the record straight. Then we have to deal with George Graham, who charged $2,600 to fix a gas line leak and a brake line leak. What do you think of that? And will not give 30 days to pay. He wants it now. So, car repair is a ripoff, just as the courts are a ripoff, just as lawyers are a ripoff, and just as doctors are a ripoff. Car repair, and the drug companies, and the gasoline companies. You are right, Jesus. Turn your back on all of it. Send not for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee, wrote John Dunn. Send not for whom the bell tolls. You'll find out when you get the bill. Lindora, hi, this is Shaquana from Time on the Cable. This is returning your call. I'm basically in and out the office. Um, you know, working here and then downstairs also in the studio. I just wanted to get back to you. I'm, I, I have a, a, a load of tapes that I want to mail to you, but I'm waiting on words from Chris on how to get those to you. Uh, it's kind of hard for me because I don't come in until about 6 p.m. and everything is closed. We have like a little shipping area and everything, and they're closed. So, and Chris has been pretty busy with the, uh, the high school sports and everything, but as soon as he gets back to me and Let's me know how I can mail them out. I'm definitely going to mail you tapes. I have at least 16 sitting on my desk 
I'm not sure how many he'll allow me to send. Um, but again, uh, I am trying to get you these tapes, and I, I've received your messages. I like that. It's a good joke. And it's short and sweet. Oh, it's so nice. Um, okay, so they've got four tapes. They're going to play one a week. Okay, so I guess you're going to be on once a week, and it's a 30-minute show, as far as I know. Um, gee, I forgot to... I gotta call him. I forgot to ask. I think it's 30 minutes. Or you only have 30 minutes and hours, one or the other, right? So, or is it two hour? I forget. Okay. I know it was a great difference. 30 minutes. Between the times. Anyway, um, so, since they're, they're set for four weeks. Um, in the meantime, in those four weeks, you can maybe get a package together or whatever you're gonna do with this upcoming newest show and then get caught up, you know, with, with uh, the new shows with them. Um, and, okay, um, so that's that. And within a month or two, you'll probably have to find a new sign. And I, ha, ha, boy, is that true? I never say hello to my dog in a crowded airport. Hi, Jack. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, okay, you need to copy this information down. I'll wait a second for you to get a pen or pencil. You usually have them right there. Uh, or you can start this message over, I'm sure. Charter, C-H-A-R-T-E-R, -E just like it sounds, Charter, Communications, 140, 140 Willow Street, just like a weeping willow. 140 Willow Street, number three, Winstead, Connecticut, same zip code, 06098. John Palinkas, P-A-L-I-N-K-A-S. John Palinkas is the public access manager. And Stephen Sylvester is the uh, public access coordinator. I'll call back. PM. Hi, Vesta. This is Patrice. Um, can you give me a call? It's Thursday evening about 6.30. And uh, my home phone number is 758-8400. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, Glenn Nora, Lodzidiski. I just dropped off your books in your mailbox. So, praise the Lord. God is good. Have a great day. I just dropped them off, and uh, they're in the mailbox right now. It's approximately, oh, let's see, 9, 10 in the evening. So, your books are in your mailbox and safely back to you. Thank you, Bill God bless. Have a great day. Thank you, Bill Jaditsky. You always know the judges coming to the courthouse is after shave lotion, leaves the parking lot, and gets into the courtroom five minutes before he does. Two little old ladies took their first airplane ride, and one of them said to the stewardess, Is this flight faster than sound? And the stewardess says, No, not this one. And the little old lady says, Oh, good. Because we wanted to talk. What's your pure thought for this morning? Burn the bads of yesterday. Patty Varga. Eric Press. Wish us the peace and the greatness that is right here and the beauty and the energy and the perfection and the fun and the joy. Turn your back on the evil. George Graham, $2,600 to repair a gas leak and a brake fluid leak. $2,600. He has taught me a good lesson. Car repair is just as crooked as the courts, just as crooked as the medical field, just as crooked as the government. So, Turn your back on it, just as Jesus Christ said. And look at this. He can't show you the sun, 
but it's very bright and it will ruin the lens or something and just look at this faithfulness every day every day it's here the universe billions of galaxies billions of stars and billions of creations and the bads of yesterday are gone we finish excoriating presses three pages it took 57 pages to do it it's taken 11 hours to do it but the record has been set straight again we bought a hundred dollars worth of these uh, 90 minute Maxell audio cassettes vegetarian lunchtime uh, on a toasted bun a vegetarian hamburger the best there is fry pats uh, onion mustard and relish pineapple juice nut fruit drink or shake uh, oatmeal cashews bananas and pineapple juice uh, vegetarian chicken slices and 12 hours work done on excoriating deficiency White Plains City Court Judge Eric Press mailed the CDs and the money to a court stenographer to transcribe the uh, electronic recording of the Hansberry trial Lindora versus Sadley Stevens Burke and Burke Walter A. Saroff and Cecilia Masterville in the White Plains Court uh, and Lindora versus Savarino Taibat Salako Julie Krenzer and Officer Lewis of the Peekskill Police Department in the Yonkers City Court the electronic transcription sent to trustee papers to successor trustee number one to add successor trustee numbers three and four thank you United States Postal Service sent a baby sweater booties and a bonnet to a new little baby about to come into the world. The company that Mom and John Snow and I did when I worked for them. I'm waiting for my videotape to go to black. I'm putting black on it. How long have you? Is that's the one? That's the one you do do all your shows on? Well, that's one of them. This is the most interesting thing. The DVD wore out. The I mean, excuse me. The LED wore out. It just disappeared. One day it turned red. The next day it was yellow. The next day it was gone. So.
Hatfield and the West door. I don't know if this is such a good arrangement or not, but I want to show you the things that Mary Ramage has done. She lives in Mohegan Lake, and she is the monitor for Chat with Glendora on the Yorktown cable TV system to make sure they do it right. I don't worry about Walter or Joe, but I worry about Cecilia. And so, Mary Ramage is quite assiduous about keeping an eye on a chat with Glendora. First off, I'd like to show you the elaborate program guide for Manhattan Cable TV. It lists all the programs there. And I believe they told me that they cable cast 5,000 shows per month. And a chat with Glendora is there on Thursday mornings at 8.30 a.m. And I've forgotten which channel, 54, 56, or something like that. This is announcement time, folks. Dost thou have any announcements? Now, Mary Ramage is superb. She writes me two or three letters a week. I talk to her on the phone two or three times a week. But show number 4582-23. Jack and Margie Flynn. Judges do not have immunity. Well, that's for sure. Remember that. That's very important. Judges do not have immunity. Congress made no such law. Uh, no pay raises for New York State judges. Perjury of oath. That refers to quite a few judges, but currently it refers to Eric Press, White Plains City Courts. And I think Mary does very, very well to copy these graphics down. When judges perjure their oath, and then she tells me what I'm wearing, the pink and white outfit, and that's my cue to my... Uh, to uh, which program it is and which month it was made. Lavender, for instance, was the month of uh, everything that happened in this month of September. By the way, this is the last day of summer. Oh. And here's another letter from Mary. Her handwriting is superb. She apologizes for writing on scrap paper, but I commend her for that. Okay. Here's another nice letter from her, and a few fell on the floor. I have picked up your videotapes, from, uh, and I tried the uh, CDs on my machine, but it didn't play. I wish I could get down there. I wish you could get down there. Or Walter, will you go down there? Or Joe, you'll go down there and show Mary how to hook up these things so she can see the uh, DVDs and so she can see the VHS. You have the pink and white clothes on. When judges perjure... When judges perjure their oaths. So thank you, Mary Ramage. She's, I believe she's uh, 75 years old. A wonder, and you, I must show you the beautiful articles that Mary Ramage crochets. To me, these are the contents for the events of September to be cable cast in October and instead of waiting until the last minute 
I did them as each tape filled up. We're on mini DV tape number 11, and what does that portend? I think it portends 16 half hour editions of a chat with Glendora, and we'll go out in September 4, October. And there's uh, 16 pages of content so far. Folks, you got any announcements? This is very important. This is a vegetarian cat food. Uh, that Glendora buy, uh, buys for uh, the kitty cats. And it's very important because it contains whole grains, vegetable proteins, uh, vegetable herbs and vitamins and minerals, uh, no cancer-causing preservatives, you've got to watch that, uh, no slaughterhouse waste, diseased animals, oh, diseased parts, or euthanized animals, don't buy this stuff, this cat food and dog food that has these things in it. No saturated animal fat or other pet other companies as pet food companies do. No artificial colors or flavors. No growth hormones, antibiotic residues or nerve prions from or byproducts, animal heads. You can serve this vegan, this is not only vegetarian, it's vegan. You can serve this uh, either dry or you can hydrate it, put water in it. And so that's what my kitty cats are getting. So I sent out $30 and got them another bag. It's over in Wisconsin is where it is. Some more letters from Mary Ramich. Lord him and crown him, Lord of all. Looking for your announcements. Charter communications, I just do not understand this. I do not see how you can call yourself a communications company and yet you can't afford a phone for public access. I spent two days trying to find a telephone for public access in, in Connecticut that covers Eastford and Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Connecticut, and other municipalities, and I still haven't found it. And I called Charter Communications, and I told them what I just told you, but I haven't heard from them. The Manhattan Neighborhood Network celebrated its 15th year of public access. Congratulations. And they honored the chat with Glendora for being with them all of those 54, 15 years. They ordered a chat with Glenda for being with them all those 15 years, plus 94 other public access producers. And they had a party. They blocked off uh, 104th Street and uh, Lexington Avenue on uh, September the uh, 15th. And they invited me to come. And you were invited to come too. And food and prizes and games and giveaways. Uh, but I didn't go. However, this is the invitation that they sent. Isn't it nice that with all they have to do, they have these activities? 
Manhattan Neighborhood Network. And here is a letter from Vicki Koreski announcing it. Thank you, Manhattan Neighborhood Network. You want to know something, folks? That Fifteen years on Manhattan Neighborhood Network, but that doesn't honor the 17 years that a chat with Glendora has been on Manhattan Public Access. Before that, all together, it's something like 17 and 15, it's like 30, 32 years. Here's a note from Jim Talbot. Very, very classy card. And here's a picture of Jim, and it looks to me like some of his friends at Saratoga Springs. And I believe you can see this on public access in Saratoga Springs on Time Warner, can't you? I want to thank Jimmy Talbot again for this magnificent TV set. It's a digital, and when you plug in the digital camera, into the digital TV set. My goodness, what a brilliant picture. And when you plug in uh, the DVD into this digital TV set, the picture is superb. Superb. The colors are so beautiful. And uh, if I'm not in the picture, it really is a good picture. Uh, so this is the new steps. This, these are the new steps, and they are very advanced. I want to congratulate Chris for the Italian place. This is where I go, and I bring Chris my uh, vegetarian food, either in a can or frozen. I give it to him, and I ask him to build a dinner around it. And now I have a place to take my friends when they come in from out of town. To a vegetarian a restaurant. What's Chris's last name? Lauks. L O U C K S. He learned to cook by going to the uh, Schenectady Chef School. Now, what is this? This is something for you. Oh, HK Investigations. They heard about Cecilia Masterilli not paying her $5,000 judgment that I won against her in the White Plains City Court. So they are offering to go and get the $5,000. And this is the application to fill out. It's HK Investigations, Judgment Enforcement Specialist. I should think there would be a market for that, all right. We are doing announcements. Do you folks have any announcements? I think we are almost done. Here's another letter from Mary Ramich. No? No. Oh, I'm going to show you again. I'm going to show you again uh, the picture of the kitty cats in Rockland County. Jim and Helen Cahagan. They're in Valley Cottage, and their cats are really joyful creations. First of all, here's Jim. I don't have a monitor, folks, so I hope we're doing this right. This is Jim, and this is Helen, and the cat in their lap uh, has gone to kitty heaven. And. And here's Betty. Isn't she beautiful? I hope I line this up right. Isn't she beautiful? And here's Danny Boy. Long hair, red hair, <laughs> and very, very handsome and lovable. Jim and Helen Cahagan, Valley Cottage, Rockland County. And Lewis Conway, I wish you would Send me my tapes that you picked up from Rockland Cablevision, and I wish you would 
uh, tell me if you got a postcard from Bergen that I chat with Glendora's on Tuesday nights in Rockland County. All righty. I got a shipment of vegetarian meat analogs, uh, turkey, ham, uh, 